ESPN's coverage of the 2010 Little League World Series is presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Reduced Sugar. They're great. And in part by Subway Restaurants, proud sponsor of the Little League Baseball and the Little League World Series. Subway, play hard, eat fresh. Well, there's strange inning, but Mexico will take it as they build up a 4-2 lead and need only three outs to go to dinner and move on to play Japan. And they were the team that Japan had to come from behind in the sixth inning to get four runs to beat them. So they are very confident if they can get another shot at them. There's the bracketing. Japan 7-2. Maybe it'll be Japan and Puerto Rico or Mexico again. It's got to be one of them. That would be and some only three kind of rematch. Yeah, only three outs here for Puerto Rico to work with. This is the sixth and uh, final inning in regulation in our Little League games. Figueroa is up. He uh, singled and struck out. He fouled off. That what, last you're inning, you're we had three outs recorded on the bases. I mean, you mm -hmm. rarely ever see that. It was a 6-4 force play, a 9-2-6 put out, and a 2-6 rundown put out. So all of the outs were recorded against runners who were already on the base. And in any uh, level of baseball, that's a very unusual inning. Mexico will take it, though. They've got to leave. Here's the 0-2 delivery. There's one of the outs they need. Oh, a breaking ball that he lying down the left field line foul. And then a fastball sneaks it by him on the inside. Just looking for base runners. But that's a big out. So Mata has struck out 10, and he's he's got some room here. He's thrown 75 pitches so far. He's looking for that rare, complete game that we see in Little League, especially with somebody who strikes people out. We don't have a microphone on this manager, but this meeting at the mound is about make sure a one, wet grass, throw strikes, keep the tying run from coming to the plate, guys. Armando Rodriguez, the manager for Mexico. One down. They're waiting at volunteer for the next game with Ohio and Georgia coming up. Each of those teams, one and oh, seven o'clock start. That will be fouled off by Sanchez. This is a first at bat for Wilfredo Sanchez. As Puerto Rico tries to mount a rally with one away. Here's the 0-1. Oh. Obviously now when you're approaching the pitch count limit, you do not want to have Mata really throwing around or wasting any pitches here. Just go ahead and throw strikes because I'm sure they want him to be able to finish this game. He is their number one pitcher. 1-1 one, one delivery towards first. Nice play, short hop. Maurice takes it to the bag. Two down. Mexico one out away from getting their second chance against Japan. And we will get another hitter as Sandoval will come on. He was a defensive replacement. And Sandoval will, have, will get his at bat here. Two down. Puerto Rico has got to find a way to get two runs with two outs in order to keep this game alive, or their chance at a Little League World Series championship will be gone. This is an elimination game. There's that pitch count at 78. Two away, five back. He's throwing strikes. Uh, that one at 70 miles an hour, which we've seen him touch a few times. That's 91 miles an hour, big league equivalent. So there's some adrenaline out there on the mound trying to finish this game. He's got six more pitches. Nuevo Laredo, first time this little league has made an appearance here. Representing Mexico on a strike. And they, with a victory, will move themselves into a game which will decide the winner of this particular pool against Japan. I tell you what. And that ball was a cut strike. That was a called strike and they're jumping around in the infield. Two down. The 0-2 delivery. Working ball is inside. One ball. Two strike count. 
hard to breathe right now. That's the uh, young shortstop you're looking at, Aldo Buenadilla. Boy, has he played a great game at short. Seeking the baseball gods' assistance, Jorge Mauti is at first base. In the elimination game, Mexico beats Puerto Rico and gets another chance against Japan. Eduardo Mata, 11 strikeouts in this ball game, gave up two runs on five hits, did not walk a batter. What a performance, and stayed under the pitch count. Go for Mexico. In terms of the teams here at the Little League World Series, I think fair to say this would be considered a, an upset win. Yeah, there's a lot of ability on Team Puerto Rico. They had a very high expectations coming into this game and the whole tournament. But Team Mexico has played well with their abilities, a little bit more discipline. And this final out, an unbelievable effort by Eduardo Mata on the mound for his 11th strikeout, only 82 pitches, and close to 70 miles an hour with that heater to let Mexico move on to face Team Japan, a rematch they are looking for. Why do you have the feeling there's going to be a lot of pizza consumed at the Grove tonight by the team from Mexico? It's a live shot here as their fans are right there, and now they've got their flag. They haven't won anything yet, but they've given themselves a chance. This is their dance that they do after every game for their fans. So here you go in full C. Japan beat, it, beat Puerto Rico 7-2. Mexico gets the win here, and there you see the game that will decide the number one team in the pool. That'll be Tuesday at 6 o'clock on ESPN2, Japan and Mexico in the rematch, as in the first time around, it was a victory for Japan 4-2. to two. Now Mexico gets a shot at him again. Well, that's great sportsmanship. Remember, these two teams had dinner together prior to this game. They've gotten together, and there's been a lot of great camaraderie, not only up in the Grove, but when they've gone out to dinner and here even post-game. It's great for the kids. Obviously, real disappointment on the part of the uh, teams from Puerto Rico, but they certainly displayed some outstanding baseball talent. How often are you going to see a game ending like that? It's an elimination must-win game of both teams from the same day. <laughs> Not going to happen very often. Uh, congratulations to Mexico and Puerto Rico for an outstanding game. Mexico wins it 4-2. to They move on. Up next, Ohio set to take on Georgia. And uh, we'll see you back here at 8 o'clock when Washington will play Connecticut. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, with Oral Hershiser, Adriana Monsalve, and our entire crew. I'm Gary Thorne. We'll bid you adieu for the moment from here, but lots more to come. We go from Lamity to Volunteer for our next game, Georgia.